The global cancer burden as highlighted by the World Health Organization continues to grow, placing physical, emotional and financial strains on individuals, families, communities and health care systems. During a visit by Lions International Foundation chairperson to Mulago Hospital, health care workers revealed that the pediatric hematology oncology ward treats 40 inpatients and 40 to 50 outpatients daily. We are seeing more children with cancer over the years and, and that may be because one, there are many more children than there were say 20 years ago. You know, Uganda is mostly a young a country with most people being children under the age of 18, if you call those children. And uh, the fact that now we are better able to diagnose, we are better, we, are, we have more, we have better cap ways of diagnosing cancer and also more awareness. That not only these kids are going through, but what's being done, as our governor said, with the, the what's going on with the family and how it tears families apart, marriages apart, and, and very difficult for a long, sustained treatment for these kids. And there's so many things that Lions can help with in tackling each one of those. Among the most commonly diagnosed childhood cancers are acute leukemia, lymphomas, among others. Uh, many years ago, it was thought that cancer like leukemia weren't common in people of African descent. But we're seeing that actually, we are seeing leukemia taking up the number one spot. The other common tumors are kidney tumors, Wilms tumor. We see some um, nerve cell tumors. However, there is a concern about patients presenting in later stages of illness as well as inadequate resources. Perceptions and misconceptions about outcomes for cancer. So many patients get dissuaded from continuing care and they end up um, not getting cured then when they would have been cured. According to World Health Organization, many health systems in low and middle income countries are least prepared to manage the cancer burden. Nobat Atkunda, in TV News.